So this is shot entirely on a D90, all the footage, all the stills, everything we did. Um, I basically spent a long night sitting in um, iMovie. It's the first time I play with iMovie. And uh, yeah, it was about 7 a.m. by the time I, I checked out, but at the end of it, I, we had this together. So I think what really excites me about the video and all that is the fact that it excites me about the idea that I can go and create, and that I'm getting really juiced up about that idea. And uh, so. One of the big things we did for this is we then put this on YouTube within two days of having done the show. I consequently had Opera Bar when I had it shot come back and ask me to, to extend that and do similar things like that. We've been able to promote the CD over in uh, Dubai very effectively because of this. And I mean, that's all within two days of doing it. And it, it's sort of it's a really nice way to show what and where. And of course, I've then blended this with uh, still imagery. Um, but had a lot, a lot of fun learning the new software. I'm just teaching myself iMovie, and things are so easy and interactive these days. You can't really go wrong. So, um, yeah, two, two very big thumbs up for me about that. So, it's probably the most exciting thing for me at the moment is is that and sort of learning something new. And I think these these things in particular that do all of that video footage and with your lenses. I mean, if you've got money, you spend the money on getting decent lenses. Uh, you can really go to town. So all of a sudden, you're doing video footage on lenses and um, I know directors and DOPs are getting extremely excited about it because so now all of a sudden you don't need this massive grip truck and, and grips to sort of take care of your cameras. You can sort of do it all freehand and the low light capability for this. You'll see when we, we start to get inside, this will duck inside in about probably 10 seconds. There's a little more than candle light in this place when we were shooting and I personally, I, I heard this good. I was astounded when I actually saw what I, that I could actually film in these sort of environments because I like a pretty low light. Um, I don't like throwing a lot of light at things. Um, we actually did a photo shoot uh, all the nights in Dubai where I was able to shoot in such low light that I had somebody with their automatic camera um, and when you press it, it starts to focus. You get that red light where it's trying to figure out the depth and how to focus. I was actually using that as a kicker for my shot. So that sort of low light capability was amazing. I didn't have to bring in lighting. I actually had all the lighting equipment there and turned it all off and used street lamps and people's phones to light what we were doing. And um, it's just, it's just an amazing sort of to be able to expand the creative possibilities when you start throwing video footage together. And um, it's very deceptive, but uh, there's absolutely no light in this place whatsoever. So, um, what's, what's lighting at the moment? You'll see, you'll see in probably about 15, 20 seconds, you'll get a pan of the room. And when you see that pan, you'll understand how little light there actually was when we were doing this. Um, but when you can sort of start to wrap things up to 4 or 5 times by itself, so, um, I'm shooting on a 50 1.4, um, I'm doing all the live view and I'm, I'm filming and it's all just manual focus. So, and I hadn't done any of this ever before, so this is the first time I kind of played with it. And of course I think you, you spend a lot of time looking at video clips, watching movies, all that stuff. I think you all have a pretty good idea of sort of how you like things to look. And so now all of a sudden, like I said, I was pretending to be a, a little film director and having an absolute ball with it. And, um, yeah. Just, just wait for the pen. I really want you to see, uh, 